Now, a leading academic is warning that the government is wrong to restrict the use of mobile phones in school. Research from the University of Nottingham says the uh, new smartphones are actually tools for learning and they should have a place in every classroom. Well, at Ginobili College in the city, they're already experimenting by allowing smartphones into geography and PE lessons. Jim House reports. Right, ladies, we've got three different pieces of card. It's fair to say that in most schools, the mobile phone seen as a potential menace. It's either banned altogether, or it's to be kept locked away. These students from Nottingham are learning orienteering, and they're also benefiting from a different approach. The smartphone is firmly part of their curriculum. Students are always going to be using their mobile phones, or constantly using them. I constantly use my mobile phone, so why not use the GPS capability of their phone? It's good to see them going to find the different locations uh, and their enthusiasm for the, the actual activity has been brilliant. Because we're so used to it and we use it on a daily basis, everyone is comfortable around it. If we had a map, I don't think many students would concentrate as much. Despite worries about bullying and theft, this scheme has the backing of academics from the University of Nottingham. They've been studying how these devices might be a help rather than a hindrance. We've discovered from surveys of children that they're already bringing their mobile phones in, even though they're banned. Um, they're using them to support their learning, um, but um, the schools have got to try and work out how they can be used productively rather than just pretending they don't exist. We appreciate that families want their children to have mobile phones for safeguarding reasons and we support them totally in that. So students do bring phones to school but we do discourage their inappropriate use in classrooms. So it seems the smartphone is here to stay as long as you can get a signal. Jim Harris, East Midlands Today in Nottingham. There's an app for everything. <laughs>